Alright. <laughs> it's the switch up, baby. Back in the Man, what happened to rap? Yeah, it was Look. back. Man, what happened to rap? Yes, sir. Uh, this is the Many rappers so typical. <laughs> Bring all the flames and the hot stuff. Young MCs are about to bust it up. It's about to be a take, and it's going to be the first take. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes, that is the homie. You know, I can't start the show without him. Uh, he goes with the name of uh, Bonani Yamani, and uh, he's the DOP, he's the camera guy, he's the set designer. And this is Put Me on Switch. It's all about up and coming artists, and we give them a platform where they get to share their story. What does it take to be an artist? You know, what are the challenges they actually have? And um, yeah, it is what it is. We're up live in effect, we're doing the damn things. It's your boy DJ Switch, the mixtape king, and uh, we're hanging out with none other than Curfew 360. I'm supposed to do 6 30. Curfew 6 30. It's actually 6 30. Yeah. It's a very, very crazy story. Why well, I'm Curfew 6 30. Let's hear the story because now clearly we gotta be in the story, you know what I mean? So, like, um, my name is Lucky originally, All right? Biological I- name is Lucky Mafiri. Baby from Lumpopo, you know, Gen Fest. Where the Evers come from. You know, so my name is Curfew 630, reason being, before I turned 18, my parents were like super strict. Okay. And so my homies used you to You have to always, be home by 6.30. Y- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my homies used to always diss me that, oh, bruh, because okay. they never had a curfew. So after that, I just took it. I'm like, you know, the name that they diss me with and tease me with. Right. Why don't I just make it a thing? Make it a thing, man. Yeah. They're making them things, man, so for I, the youth. The youth, this youth had to be home by 6.30 for the things, man. And also, like, the the name, it won't get old. It's not like I'm a low yeah. this, low that. I can stay curfew 6.30. For yeah, I mean, time. a lot of people are still little this, little that. See, so I mean, little duck is still little duck. For and me, it's just weird, because I'm like 35. How long am I going to be little <laughs> duck? Like, I just don't understand it. I hear you, man. I hear you. All right. So, um, you know, I know you're also with a bunch of your homies. You'll do another podcast. Yeah. And you'll do like, you know, this all like drinks vibes, you know, yeah, you'll we play do drinking a, games. Yeah, we do a whole lot of games. Uh, so, my bro, which is like my manager also, um, Joseph Derry. He's a yeah. big YouTuber. Yeah. The one I Shout out to song. Joseph. Shout out to Joseph Derry. The bro was hand. It was cracking, bro. Shout out to Uncle Spiller. Shout out to DNT TV, all in all. Yeah, by the way, he's from Lumpopo. He's not from the States. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paid to give my pay. I'm a little bit of deal. Like, proudly, you know? Um, shout out to them. So, we've been... Wait, hold up. So, I want to know, when you speaking to your moms, <laughs> Yeah. are you speaking to her in Pedi or are you like... Um... I speak to her, yeah, I can speak. You're like, I speak. Uh, I'm just saying, because if you're coming out really like, yo, mom, what's up? She's gonna be like, hey, what yeah, up? Like, be, she doesn't even, she's, even, she's <laughs> not even a fan of like this whole hip hop stuff. Oh, you right. know how yeah. it, it's, it only takes like bag for them to see, like, okay, yeah, now nah, this is working, right? Yeah, so <laughs> it's just slowly but surely, but I think she's, she's coming around. She's coming around she likes too. Ghetto. It's like the first song of mine she likes because of the message and stuff. So Yeah, you know, we're going to get into that music video. And, um, you know, I've been listening to your stuff and, you know, you on the whole melodic trap vibes. Yeah. It's dope. Yeah. I like it. And, um, yeah, man, just, you know, just explain because, I mean, you got an EP out right now that's, that's yeah, you're on, time. right? Yeah, Time. It's called Time, yeah. Yeah, this is my EP called Yeah, time, let's, talk is... about, let's, let's talk about it right now, man. Let's so, not wait. The EP is my own, like, acronym, actually. So it's T for this is me so it's time this is me all in all so i just it was a whole so i was working at mcdonald's before actually I hey wait so, so <laughs> <laughs> that's actually quite funny because when you arrived at the studio you're like i'm at mcdonald's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're saying that you were working at, at mcdonald's. mcdonald's yeah so okay I, so wait so have you ever watched the movie called the founder no, I haven't. Go watch it. It's, it's a story about... It's the McDonald's story and how uh, Ray Kroc actually... Uh, bought it. Yeah, how he bought it. How he scammed these other brews. Yeah, the I've, real McDonald's brews. Yeah, I've heard of that story, but I haven't read it or yeah. even watched it yet. So now I want to know, right? So in McDonald's, right? What is the what is the biggest secret? Like, What's the biggest secret? Yeah, you know you got like KFC. They've got their secret recipe. Yeah. What's the McDonald's secret? Because I know the only thing, the secret they have is speed. Um, the sources. The sources. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Because you know, and I'm- and actually, I think, well, this is what I've heard, which is also for me. Yeah. A lot of people go to McDonald's mostly just for the fries. 
Just for the fries. Yeah. The fries just slap too much. Like But McDonald's I mean like fries. if 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 the fries are so good because I mean if you go to Wumpy you get like seven fries. Mm-hmm. Or it's sort of chips. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's the way they cut. In KFC, you can count them. They're like 12. Uh, <laughs> so is there any limitations on like the servings? So I know, of, so on a cheeseburger, like normal, it's like two gherkins, right? Yeah. And that's it. And yeah. And how many squirts a tomato sauce? Um, It's actually about just like a squeeze. A squeeze? Yeah. And how long, how long should it take for you to make a Big Mac? Mm, less than 30 seconds. Less than 30 seconds to make yeah. a Big Mac. Yeah, and it's actually quite easy. It's not that hard to make a Big Mac. Okay, so where were you on the production line? Um, so I was firstly like making the patties and everything uh, and, right. the, and the burgers. But then because I'm such a talk- talkative person, I love people. Yeah. So after a while, because like I always like my managers always be like, yo, stop talking to this customer, this cat. <laughs> so I would always like, so after that, they just pushed yeah. me to the host side, which is where like I get to interact more and more with like the people. So, There's a host at McDonald's? Yeah. You're kidding me. I'm telling you, the females are hostesses and the males are hosts. So it's like, I'm the guy by are the door. Are you listening to this shit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy by the door. Like, I'm the guy by the door. So when everybody gets in at first, I'm the first person they talk to. And I just create that whole energy of, like, welcoming. And, you know, I just introduce them to the... Because now there's also this whole... um, What is it? It's the touchscreen ordering. Yeah, machine. it's all yeah. self-service. Yeah. yeah, so I just, like, the people that don't know, which is mostly the old people, I just, like, you know, fill them in. I used to fill them in here and there. Uh, I'd help them serve the food so when they bring the food to 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 to, to the table like where yeah. I am the one that you know gives it to the customers and like be on some damn damn, so, damn. Yeah. damn all right I used so to get a lot of pretty girls too yo <laughs> there's a lot of pretty girls at McDonald's Oakland, I used to work at <laughs> Oakland Park McDonald's actually that's the one I used to work at. So, man, I'm talking too much. So I'm telling about the story <laughs> of time. So how I made my EP time yeah, yeah, is yeah. that um, I was working at McDonald's. Um, I had dropped the EP before that, actually, the year before that, 2020. Yeah. Let's see, yeah, 2020. I dropped an EP called That McDonald's Kid, actually. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right, all right. Because people, because I, I used to study at UJ. So what were you studying at UJ? Strategic Communications. Maybe that's why it talks a lot, you know what I mean? Yeah, Maybe but that's where that's where you got the job at McDonald's. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, but it, after that, I still I don't know. I wasn't really ready for school like that. I just ended up dropping out. I didn't do my second year. Okay. I just told my parents like, "Yo, I'm gonna try this music thing." And okay. I mean, school doesn't finish. I feel like there's a certain age. I, I'm not trying to try blow up at like 27. <laughs> you know, so I feel like there's a certain age okay. where you can just like go back to school. Cause I mean, school doesn't finish. I can go back to school at thirty. So, so, so you got a time limit on this thing. If it don't yeah, work out if, for you, if I don't hit like twenty seven or five, and, and you I got a see house, something, yeah, you don't yeah, have a I'm house by then. You can be like, nah, nah, let's... get a job, man. Once, yeah, I'll I'll do it like on the side, but I'll make sure that now I still have like you know some sort of. Proper funding, because obviously also with music, you need a lot of money to like push yourself. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. We out at the M Studios, you know, if you want to get uh, some some time out at the M Studios, make sure you open up a old mutual money savings account. And uh, all you got to do is just drop in a hundred bucks. You can get two hours uh, to come and spend in this beautiful studio. And basically, it's a it's a open format kind of space where creators come and you can create podcasts just like this one, uh, record music just like a man, you know, curfew. Kofi 6.30. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Kofi 6.30. And, um, you know, you can use the space and make sure you come check out M Studios out in Newton Junction. Make sure you follow them as well at M underscore. Was it M Studios underscore on Instagram? Uh, yeah, man. I mean, like, that's, 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 that's a good, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the way you, you're approaching this whole thing. Like, if, if it doesn't work out, I'm mean, calling it quits. Not really quits, but, now I'll have, I don't know, I'll just have a lot of other stuff to do because I really want to try and become something in life, you know? Sure. Even with this whole rapping thing. Like, I, I remember I used to have, like, a whole lot of depression issues and wow. stuff like that. Actually, I don't know why I'm talking about no, this, bro. but I might as well. So, my, actually, my biological mom passed away. Okay, so sorry to hear the condolences, man. That's okay. Yeah. So, um, my dad had another woman. For me, I felt like it was too quick. Right. So I just didn't like her. 
like my stepmom. Yeah, she, you couldn't get over yeah, it. Yeah, even her, like, she just it, right? didn't treat me like how my mom did, you know. Yeah. She would shout at me and stuff like that. And I was just like, this is just not, this is not my mom, bro. And, right. like, well, she used to do a whole lot of stuff that my mom wouldn't do that just would piss me off. Yeah. So, like, instead of, like, arguing with them, I just, like, always run to my room and listen to music. And that's, like, childhood trauma. Like, you yeah. know, you, you, you stay dealing with these kind of nah. things because you've never, like, approached them or yeah. gotten over them. That's cool to speak out, man. Shout out to you. Yeah. Um, so, so time. And then know. after, or then time. So right. then, um, yeah, after when I did, when I was working at McDonald's, uh, lockdown happened. Yeah. Lockdown welcome, happened. Welcome to, to the to the twenty first century. Yeah. So then, with that, I had so much time to make music. Like I just right. had like a lot. Of, I was always with my homies, mm. listening to beats. So I was like, "Yo, bro, let me make uh, an EP, another one, and I'm gonna call it Time, which is my own acronym for This Is Me." And then during that time, as I'm making my EP, I lose my job at McDonald's. I'm oh like, damn. damn! What did you do? Ah, uh, well, it was the whole. It was like it was a young retrench vibe. It was it was bad. Right. Yeah, looking lockdown happened. Everything right. just changed. Sure. Like, yeah. So then after that, I just made a whole lot of music. Okay. And I decided to drop time. Which after that, when I lost my job, I wasn't really that sad. Yeah. Because for me, I was just trying to like make a bit of money. So of I could, course, you know, buy the, buy some drip, buy the shoot things, some music videos, you know, book some venues, buy some stuff. You know, get that Zaza on. <laughs> and so, and then after a while, I was just like, maybe this is like God's face for me, for me yeah. to drop time. Okay. Yeah. So then after dropping the McDonald's kid when I dropped time, which is actually my biggest EP now, like, it's the, it has, like I grew, my streams became higher than even before the, the McDonald's kid, which is way higher. Yeah. So I felt like it was really my time in a different phase. And that's when me and Joseph Derry, the whole DNT TV team, started working together. Okay. And I just started, like, traveling, like, Durban. What? Walanga. Yeah. With Doing the, shows? No, no, or no. just we, traveling we, we with were, them? We were shooting, and I was okay. um, also, like, just getting to know people at different sides. We'd go to the malls. Growing your fan base, yeah. you know, like, just making people know that, yo, yeah. man, you know, Kofi 630 is in the building. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I, yeah. And I'm, the, I was always, like, in Joseph Derry's lives, just so they wow. know, because he's... His fan base is kind of huge. He has like yeah, 180, yo, 9,000 subscribers yeah, and stuff he's like dope, that. He's dope. He's dope. He's got a vibe and yeah. you know, and it's just, and it's simple. It's a simple thing. Yo, check yeah. out Joseph Derry on YouTube. He's got quite a cool podcast and it's all about the homies, the whole clique, the whole clan, you know, doing yeah. the thing. Just just friends vibing basically, you know. It's and, the game. It's the game. And just, you know, talking about everyday kind of shit that we go through. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. girls, drugs, all that. <laughs> I know it's not. I take drugs though. I don't, I don't take <laughs> I drugs. I only smoke. Yo, drugs. shout out, shout out to fourteen thirty. Make sure you check out the, the, that premium vodka. Out there circa fourteen thirty available on. Oh, it's online now. There's some stores out in Cape Town. Get, get them at. We're gonna let you know soon. But yo, oh, this is your vodka. Was I, I wish it was my vodka. Tastes too damn good. You know what I mean. Hey. But hey, just watch out for it. You know what I mean. Hey, I'm All right, cool. So I mean, you know, we speak. You were speaking about streams, right? And yeah. um, you know. That is such an important thing to to watch. Yeah. And everybody that's been coming on the show, and I'm just trying to educate people, like, watch the numbers. Yeah. If you important. study the numbers, you watch the numbers. I mean, you're a strategist. So for you, it's like, yo, my numbers are going up. Yeah. And if I keep on doing the same thing, yeah. you know, at a constant rate, it's going to be like... It's going to work out. It's going to be on, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? You're going to get those numbers that everybody's reaching so that you can, you know, post them and say, yo... You know, I'm doing this. I'm doing the thing yeah. things. You know what I mean? Yeah. So another thing I wanted to chat to you about was like, yo, you're you're like a strategist. You 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 got this whole thing going, but man, y'all should see this guy's bio. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up actually on yo, the screen. Oh, it's very happy. It's gonna come up a right about here now, <laughs> right? And I'm gonna show you. Oh my gosh! A curfew uh, six thirties. I can't believe DJ Switch. This is this is his DJ bio, right? This is born in nineteen ninety nine. Those men is exposing. Right, eleventh of July, which means his birthday is coming up. Yeah, I started rapping since I was nine. Yeah, he used to sing at Sunday school choir as a kid. Mm -hmm. I I used to. <laughs> right, but my step grandfather's church. I fell in love uh, with uh, Lollipop by Little Wayne. Yo, uh, so for, uh, that's yeah. what, you know, come that's on. That's when I was like, yeah. When I saw him there on the music video, I'm like, is this... At, at that time, I think I was like eight. Um, and I'm I'm a kid, so I'm seeing this whole American lifestyle on <laughs> yeah. the music video. I'm like, even the way he's rapping, I'm like, this nigga a superhero or something. It was what different, is, but I was like, when they yo. played it 
it also got me. I yeah, was like, I was yo, like, nah, easy. I for real, right? And then it says, and it goes on. So we're still reading the bio, right? Um, I fell in love with Lollipop by Little Wayne, and I knew I want to dwell in this. I've dropped two EPs, by the way, EP with a dollar sign. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, <laughs> when I first dropped uh, in 2022, right? In 2020, uh, EP that was titled, by the way, it doesn't even say that. I'm just putting in the words because it's like, which first one was dropped 2020 titled McDonald's Kid? You know, yeah. the grammar's a bit out, but hey. I'm sorry. And then the next one I dropped, uh, Time, which is yeah. 2021 which is basically just after his birthday last year yeah. on the 25th of July, which I figured that was the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So two EPs available. Birthday. Uh, right. So there's two EPs available. Yeah. Out on, on, on digital. All digital platforms. All digital platforms. Yes, sir. And you can get it. Make sure you check him out. He's on Spotify. He's on iTunes the whole night. I'm on Deezer. I'm on... Hey, Zonkebo and Keo. Man, I don't know these <laughs> other ones, but there's so a lot. Sundoki. <laughs> Sunde- <laughs> what was that porn site's name? Uh, Sundeza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yo, I'm on these. I'm on iTunes, Spotify. What are these other ones? There's so many different platforms because I use DistroKid. So there's just... Yeah. There's, and, and I mean, you know, and, and it's good to talk about these uh, DSPs and stuff like that yeah. because some people still like... Yo, I'm SoundCloud for life. Nah, nah. For me, like, there's there's a certain level. I feel like there's music you can make for SoundCloud. Okay. And then there's music you can make for, like, digital platforms. I for feel me, like if, if you're going to do it for, on SoundCloud, like, you're just throwing the tracks away. Yeah. Like, you don't, yeah. like, you're not proud of this project, you know? Like, you don't want to put in the effort to actually get it onto, you know, DSP. iTunes, Spotify, or whatever, or any DSP, right? Yeah. But I've seen some people lately now from SoundCloud, what they do is they drop their music first on SoundCloud. Okay. And then... To, when they see the numbers racking up, yeah, they take the music to DSPs. But why would you do that? Because if you could rack the numbers up from day one, yeah, you, you, I don't, I, you missed all that momentum yeah. up there. You know what I mean? Because uh-huh. mm-hmm. the bigger artists they only preview tracks, yeah, on SoundCloud. So they yeah. put a preview on there, and it, it runs up the stream to a million, yeah, and it's like maybe only fifteen seconds, yeah. So they're putting a true. TikTok on you. That's true. And that's then true. then you rush over to Spotify. And you and want to you, listen to the whole thing. Yeah, and that's how they, you know, they, they incubate, you know, the streams. Because mm. now it's not like it's just all over the place. It's more controlled because you've got them now on one spot. And it's just a preview there. And people are like, well, where, where else can I go get it? Yeah. I got to go to other platforms. Man. Yeah, but man. I, I don't do SoundCloud like that no more. I, okay. I stopped. Because it's like people didn't take me serious. People don't, I don't know. It's like people don't take people serious when you're on SoundCloud. Like that, I guess, you, unless we people like 808 Sally, Jay Katana, Lil Nosebleed. Little, you know, those, no, little Nosebleed? Yeah, hey. And the Trap Boys, eh? Yeah. <laughs> and it's crazy because those guys that blow lot. up, they blow up like heavy. They blow up crazy. Actually, these uh, new whole, there's this whole new wave of um, like wave bending. Wave bending. Yeah. Yo, last time we heard of woofing. Now we're yeah. learning of bend wave bending. I don't know if you know like a uh, 808 Sally. Yeah, I've heard of yeah, 808 Sally. Sally's beats. It's like wave, wave bending. bending. And then there's people like Ariati who produces. Stop playing with the mic, oh, man. People going to hear this in the, oh, I'm in so, the you know. I'm, so, like, I'm sorry, man. They're going to be I'm like, sure. why does this guy so, play with the microphone? It's and, making noise and, out here. My apologies. Um, <laughs> so... Yeah, there's a whole lot of new kids. There's Scummy. I don't know if you know this. Someone called Scummy. No, Scummy. Yeah. Yeah, Scummy is like that whole... They're just a whole new wave of trap. It's just wow. blowing up crazy on SoundCloud. Right. Now, I want to know, right? So, you know, this comes to my next question. Um, Yeah, we've got the wave. We've got, you know, we've got this rage going on. And, and people want to just be raging out in, 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 in at the events, yeah. in the club, or whatever the case may be. Mm. And, um, you know, uh, you know, how do... Why don't the new age kids look at radio? Um, because well, number one, you see what Ricky Rick once spoke about at the um, was it the MTN? Or was the, the like, I think it was the Metro FM. Yeah, Wars, yeah. Uh, uh, Metro FM was. It's just the game is rigged now. Like we can, uh, I I can see it. Like well, a lot of kids can also see it. Yeah, you know, we just have this mentality now lately. The new kids are just putting ourselves on. Because, like, I, I've seen how... I've even read up... I remember Flex Rabanyana saying that he paid payola for yeah. his song to get played, but it didn't. Yeah, but that's a, that's a catch, though. You see, that's the thing. Because like, if you pay once, you pay forever. Oh, so you so we we really pay. We really pay payola to get our music played on radio. Hey, is man, you really? hear it from me, man. This is <laughs> off the record kind of ish. But you know? if you pay... I've heard people of, you know, dropping brown paper bags off yeah. at the playlist and saying, yeah. like, yo... I need I need the song. song yeah, you, you know? know. The so, best the best advice I would give to anyone is like 
If they love it, they'll play it. If yeah. they don't like it, they won't play it. You just keep trying. Yeah. So, right? it's just and also as kids now, as the new wave, the the new generation, this is too much um, streaming platforms. There's SoundCloud. There's YouTube Music. There's man, what is this? Yeah, even Deezer. There's just Spotify. A lot of kids like Spotify too. So I guess yeah. in general, we don't have time to be listening to radio, radio because also they don't play the music that we like. Right. This is not they a thing, right? They repeat the same music. This is the thing because radio's got radio's also business. Yeah. You know what I mean? So the consumers that they have is all different types of consumers. Mm. So, I mean, and obviously radio is not that current. They're not playing. They're never always playing the new ish that new kids and I think that's why also they're losing the essence of having like younger generation listen to five you know Y or Metro because exactly. they're not there's the playlist that's there is not playing like the new top wave songs yeah it's old music it's like it's, and you, you know, know that and you know that you know if you and, and think about it this way and the reason this is this is a big thing I mean also check out you know shout out to Rashid K as well as uh, hey, OG yeah. shout out to them they got the master class they give a lot shout of out facts the out there and if you listen to what you know they give a lot of facts about playlisting radio play and you know obviously DSPs but you know if you add up everything from DSPs to radio play yeah. if you're getting so let's say on so obviously on DSP you got to get a lot of spins right yeah. and for for someone that does from the outside 10,000 spins looks like a lot. That's true. Right? But from the, somebody on the inside on DSP, that looks, that's like pop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if ten, if you got 10,000 plays on radio in a month. That's crazy. Yo, you're racking. Yeah. You're eating. That's big facts. You know, you're eating because, but it's not just from one radio station. We're talking about like an overall number of radio yeah. stations. And there's a lot. There's, you yeah, know, there's, there's, there's over lot. 50 radio yeah, stations. And if you, and let's say, for example, you like a Mikasa. You know, mm. they, 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 they're playing, you know, one of their, their, their favorite songs. I don't, yo, they got so many. Right? Yeah, they got too many. They got too many. And that song is on high rotation. Those chicks are looking mad. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you also like, you, you know, if you're an indie, the check is looking good. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you're like, yo, I'm eating it all alone. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so. But also piano. That's the, see what also is the piano? Yeah. The fact that now people have gotten to make their own uh like as South Africans now, we have our own genre. Like yeah. that's just one genre of ours is blowing up crazy. Which I can, I'm proud of, but yo, you know, we've got to be proud of it. But people now, nah, man, we should embrace it. You know, I think I do. But I mean, hey, it's killing us. It is killing us, but I embrace it. It's fun. You know, it's 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 one of those things. I always call it a wave. You yeah. Know what I mean? So for yeah. me, it's just like it'll be here for a little bit, but it'll be so? around for long. You really? I, I think piano's gonna last a very long time. You think so? Honestly, yeah. I mean, next week, next week, and if you, and if you, if are you on TikTok? Um no, yo, I'm, I'm I'm you gotta get on uh, that. I need I'm to be on it, right? Yo, you gotta the be on it. The algorithms are crazy. There, it's not it's not like Instagram, it's not like Twitter. It's next level algorithms, and that's why piano has taken off yeah. because of the the, the 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 I would say the commitment from the the TikTokers themselves. Like yeah. they like it's you'll do or die, it. you know. And it's for everybody. It's for old, young, whatever. And you know, like that's where. That's where even like my homie Yamani can become a superstar. You know, you can, like he can be a superstar up there. Yeah, people and, blow up quickly. There, and actually. if he plays your song and he's got a million followers. I'm gone. Yo. I'm gone. You to the moon. Yeah. Talking I've seen. to the moon. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And so and and I'm trying to develop Leo check I yo. think I'm gonna get it. I'm think I'm gonna get TikTok actually. Yo, I mean this podcast goes into TikTok as well. I oh, put this okay. into TikTok. I, well, just one part. Yeah. And so I put it on. You know, and that's and when the the platforms integrate, you know, so it's just it's just the way you do it because I don't know who's watching. Yeah. I don't know who's looking we out for know. the next curfew six six thirty. Maybe it'll be curfew ten p.m. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> ten p.m. Ten p.m. Well, have you increased your curfew now? I, I, I'm I'm grown now, so <laughs> nobody tells so, me what to do. So there's no curfew for nah. you. So every time, so every time the president gives a speech, you out there listening. I'm just like, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm, yo, but and you know what's so crazy? People, some people who've just like known my music now. Yeah. Every time they see me, they be like, 
oh wait, did you name you? Did you name yourself curfew after Ramaphosa? I'm like, no, bro, no, like, nah, dog. Yeah. I've been having this name. You're like, I'm like, yeah, like don't be thinking because Ramaphosa said it. Now nah, you think, nah, nigga, I've been knowing this. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, also it works. It works. It works for your favor because yeah. curfew is like a new word, you know. Yeah. So it's like, yo, curfew, you know. But you know that other homie, curfew six thirty. Yeah. You know, so that's kind of yeah, cool. It creates. That's, it creates a. Uh, well, conversation. Chris, yeah, Chris, good conversation. Yo, we're hanging out with none other than Curfew 630. You know and this saying. is, of course, put me on switch, you know. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. Hit us up. Leave some comments. Let us know who you want to see on this podcast. They got to be up and coming. Yes, and, sir. And, um, you know, we want to know. We want to know. You got to let us know. And we're going to get into a, a section now. Where we're going to go through one of your music videos. Yes. It's called Ghetto. Yes. Right? Do you want to tell us the story before you play it? Um, I made this song in Durban. Okay, was yeah, this on your wild trips? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I made this song last year. I was at Durban, June, September. Okay. I think, yeah. And then I just got this beat from my friend, Brima. Shout out, Brima. Shout out to my homie, Brima. All right, so we're going to hit Brima. play now. And um, so this is you and your homie. You're out in the ghetto. Joseph gonna... Derry, yeah. Oh, this is Joseph Derry? Yeah. This is all right, he's wearing that old school swag. Yes, yeah, sir. You know, I see him out here. So Struggling that's... boys. You know, we're just trying to show where we come from. This is um, right. this was shot in um, Deep Slot. Oh, this was shot in Deep Slot? Yeah. All right, so you are out here. I know the story is sort of like you're going to look for Span and, yeah. you know, you'll just kind of, you know, one day you'll decide, let's change our lives. Yeah. And like every day, you're like, you and your best friend, you're like, Infana, let's just get some work yeah, because it broke. Let's get the bad boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, look at them stankiest vans. And, you know, people that wear vans they don't put on secret socks, dog. Nah. You know, now you coming out here. Hey, and, and <laughs> now I'm going to ask you this, right? Yeah. Remember when... <laughs> Remember when uh, Trevor Noah spoke about Daywalker? Yeah. Did they ever diss you on that? They have. I have, yeah. <laughs> I have. People, people sometimes be like, nigga, you light. I'm like, I know, man. Yeah, I you know. got, yo, Hans, you got the albino, Daywalker vibes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. If you want them real colored babies, it actually want them Pull colored. Pull up on me. <laughs> Pull up on me. <laughs> All right, so, so you're out just, you decide to go make like what, just a spaza, kind of spaza shop? Yeah, um... We actually, when we got there, we were like, okay, we want to just talk about, like, because my grandma and stuff like that, my grandma used to sell tomatoes and stuff like that yeah. also from back home, you know? So we just like, let's just talk about, like, where we come from and the type of stuff mm. we used to and our grandmothers used to do and just, like, sauce it up, you know? All right, and and this is you telling about your, your story from yeah. your hood, yeah, from Limpopo or from Lim Maboneng? Jen Fez, Jen Fez from Limpopo. Hey, Jen Fez, shout yeah. out to Jen Fez sir. out there. Yes, sir, yes, <laughs> sir. All right, so, you know, I love the visuals. It's so clean, man. Like you said, your homie, he Lens edits genius. all your videos. Shout out to Lens Genius, bro. Shout out Lens to Lens Genius. Yes, sir. I, and I mean, like, yo, hey, the homie just came out of the toilet out there. Long drop. Yeah, <laughs> I was out here. And we were out here. And I mean, like, you know, you know, and people like, especially in Kasi, when they see these music videos shot in like their Kasi, people get excited, man. A lot. You yeah, know? I, I remember so many kids were watching us when we were shooting this video. Mm. It was even making me nervous because I'm like, yo, I'm trying to work. Yeah, but I mean, you never know who you're inspiring. That's you know? true. And who inspired you, bro? To make music? Yeah. Lil Wayne. Little Wayne, is yeah. that so? That is yeah, it. Yeah, like when I when I heard Lollipop, I just started dwelling into like Carter, and I yo, I fell in love with a whole lot of Lil Wayne music. I I used to even like when I was rapping before, I used to just swear and talk shit. You know, obviously, right. I don't know what I'm talking let's, about. Let's 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 hear one of your first raps. Yo, one of my first raps, I don't really remember. They never remember their first mm. raps. Just shows, you know. But it goes like, I think it goes, I remember my first song was come something like, Man, man, I'm a beast. Uh, man, man, I'm a beast. Hey, don't tell me nothing, my nigga. Hey, don't tell me nothing, my nigga. Because if you hate all me, I might end up pulling, pulling that trigger. And I think my verse was like, <laughs> was Man, man, I'm a beast. Um, crazy as ever, hell of freak. I'm too complex, my... My opposition, I'ma ask him what's next. Hey, something like that. I, I, I was like, what, 13? I started like really, really. Well, in your book, this little paragraph of biography, you said it started at nine. No, no, no. I did start rapping at nine, but I mean like writing. 
Okay. I wasn't. I used to just freestyle when I was a kid. I used to just freestyle shit. Oh, like, literally, because Lil Wayne talks about what sex, money, drugs. And as a kid, Elumbopa at that time, I'm just like, oh, pussy, pussy, fuck. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's all I was doing. But like, I started yeah. really, really like learning how to properly, properly rap at like 13. I kept it going at like nine. Yeah. But I remember my first proper because I made my first song at like 13. Wow. With a laptop then, and like some Samsung earphone. And Fruity Loops. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah, it's been. You know, and you said a very good thing, you know, and uh, something that people should realize is that eventually you got to start creating some real musical content. Yeah, because I was just like. So wait, hold on. Sorry to cut you. So now you in the upper life out here. Yeah, this is where I live in my morning. Oh really? Yeah. So, so uh, shout out to Lens Genius, shout out Joseph Dairy. I yes, see sir. yo, I see yo, I see yo, and Brima. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yo, better check that out. That is a uh, ghetto by none other than the homie, curfew six thirty. Yes, sir. Damn. I wish I had that name too, man. You know, I wish I had, you know, because, you know, make sure I'm home at 6.30. I was a good kid when, you know, I was making sure I was home early when the sun goes down. Hey, I had to. I was yeah. like, I was going to kick my ass. So, you know, so that's a cool thing that, you know, you 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 elevated your, your songs to. Yeah, I had to try. Because like, mm. even, I, I wasn't going to be a low Wayne, a young low Wayne. Sure. I was like, I need to, like, find me, like, a young. So, find that the source, me. Yeah. Yeah. So on time, you've got... Uh, you've got full stops between the word time. Does it, is it an acronym for anything? Yeah, this is me. This is me. Yeah. And the e. Oh, this oh e the oh yeah. this is t dot i dot me. Okay, there we go. Right, so maybe check that on DSP's time. This is me, uh, by my homie uh, Kofi six thirty. Yes, sir. And uh, how did you stumble onto put me on switch because you um know, I stumbled onto put me on switch. Uh, I firstly saw a video on YouTube. Um, you were interviewing. This homie, what's his name? Slim. No, 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 The suit you cat, Uncle Crack. Nah. Um, he Who else did, do we have? He did a song. The thing is, he has a song with a, a homie called Sola Kenji. Um, you're talking of uh, ASAP Shambe. Yeah, but nah, I've been and then yeah, I've been actually watching it for a while because you always have a whole lot of different artists. And then yeah. I saw it on IG, and I was yeah. like, hold up, wait, what? And then I was like, let me try DM this homie if this homie yeah. would answer me. All and right. you did, bro. And I was like, okay, cool. All right, cool. So we're gonna we're almost at the end of the show, my man. Your man is oh, you you keeping time, bro. I got that's that's my homie right there, man. He knows what time that is, you know. We gotta make sure. Man, I didn't give you some claps, yo. Shout out for coming onto the show, man. Yeah. Damn. Shout out, shout out. Thank you. Yo. Thank, you. Thank you. I appreciate being here. I'm super excited to be live. Yeah, man, and I just love like you know your energy is right, everything is on par, everything is correct, you know, and um, you know we're getting to this point now where you know you said you used to raps, you know, off the dome, do yeah, your I thing. Can, I, can, I can, I can, I can split some. You, you can split some. Mm, All right, yeah. let's. Let, we're gonna buy it. Get a shout out to fourteen thirty. You know, they're bringing you know, bringing up the section, which is the the freestyle section. You know what I mean? Yes. Sir. And uh, you know we got our producers. They go by the name of the kids next door. They are producers of the month. And, um, yo, let's get this started, man. Aye, 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 aye. It's the switch up, baby. Here we go. All right, you know what? Wait, let, let's start over. I'm going to give you another. I want to give you a nice, nice beat, a better one, you know? Okay. We're going to start it over. Let's start it over. Let's start it over. Let's start it over. Yo, kids next door. Let's put me on switch. The mixtape king. We got curfew uh, 630 yeah. in the building. Let's go. It's the freestyle time, baby. Shout out to kids next door. It's the mixtape king. Curfew 630, baby. Hey, Representing them popo. Hey. <clears throat> Let me hear this beat real quick. Hey. Take your time. Relax in this one. Shout out 1430. Hey. Uh. Look. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Uh. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Niggas been sleeping on me, tell me when you done with a pillow talk I'm too charged up, nigga, yeah, might as well do the plug walk I'm chasing a dream, just wide awake, there's a lot of stake And I made mistakes, but I'm still trying to chase me And it's just gotta be, amen, say man, I'm a great man Trying to make a plan, I'm really trying to make it work out Young nigga, trying to make it out here, I ain't got no spirit, nigga eh, Still wrestling on my demons, WWE, nigga And I'm really trying to branch out my 
my family cheat like I am Casper. Yeah, nigga, yeah. I want a ghost. Eh. These niggas is chicken, they roast. I want no bed, so I'm making my toast. Eh. And I ain't here to boast. Young nigga, about to take it off. My flow's a global. Eh. I got a little bad bitch calling me a young honey. Maybe that's because she buzzing on my line like a bee. Ooh. Every single trying to bench out like a tree. Aye. I be telling them I might have a fee. I be too crazy. You on the verse, nigga. I might as well write up my own Bible. Yeah, Aye. give me my title. Okay, look, okay, look. I think, uh, I think I need a Mercedes Benz. How I got all this class. Ooh. I've been schooled with these niggas and I still pass. I told them that I'm way too fast. Just like the flash. I still got the light. I'm telling these niggas I ain't got no fright. Woo. Hey. Hey, come on, man. Come on. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. You know, I say that because we had someone choke on the show. And you can be a trapper, but if you say you're a rapper, you got to rap, you though. You need to rap. You, got, you know, you and this... You want to play another beat? I feel like I want to rap. You want to you know, rap one some more? Time, one last time. One last time. Okay, okay. One last time. Okay. We're going to change the beat up, man. This is why. This is the first guest we got that's so excited to rap on the show. You're getting two freestyles. Yes, sir. We still got the kids next door. Yes, My homie, sir. Curfew 630, giving us two raps. Yo, we've been blessed right here. Let's, Let's go. go. All right. All right, listen to this one. Listen to this one. Can you hear the beat? Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Let me turn you up some. Let me turn you up some. Hey. How's that for you? It's the hey. kids next door. Hey. Shout out to kids next door. Shout out to the kids next door. Hey. Shout out to the kids next door. Hey. Uh. Hey, shout out to the kids next door. Like Drake, nigga, I'm doing a party next door, yeah. Ooh. Hey, young nigga, I'm too cool with it. I think I deserve to be inside a freezer. Hey, and I'm friends with a heater, though. I have conversations. I speak to myself. I'm my own advocate. Young nigga still schooling these niggas. Yeah, I'm a tutor. Still swimming with sharks, Ooh. nigga. I'm not scared to scuba. Uh, hey. Your girl wanna rob me just like an Uber. Hey. I told her, look into my eyes, nigga. Hey, told her look into my eyes, little baby I know you tryna have my baby But I'ma still fuck the game up I might as well write Kama Sutra Part 2 hey, Young nigga, I'm too sick, I really got the flu Who is you? Why you acting on me? Yeah, different type of characters Y'all making no cash I'm a ruler, young nigga, I'm tryna stand my line I'm a different type of rapper And I'm tryna redefine how these niggas rapping I'm really doing the most I'm tryna get a go so I can put my daughter Inside it, yeah. hey. hey, 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 shout out to my girlfriend, shout out to my mama, and shout out to my mama in heaven. I mean, Ooh. I'm talking about both of them, I know they love me. Young nigga, I'm moving, looking orange like a um, like me. a citrus fruit. I'm really cozy, <laughs> hey, and you know, I'm um, man, I man, oh man, yeah, 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 yeah,
Your yeah, money? Uh, come on, man. He deserves you as something, right? Just so y'all know, all this is straight from the dome. Oh, from the top. From the top. So straight no from rehearsal, the top, like nothing. I just got some hate. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah. right, we're hanging out with Curfew at 6.30. Yo, man, the homie's got energy. Um, yeah, man, that's what it's about. You know, like you really got a, a good interview etiquette. And I think, you know, this one thing guys got to take from this interview. You up and coming, do not keep quiet. Dumb. You gotta sell yourself yeah. to the devil, and that's not me. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Sell yourself to the Prada. That's not me. Like hey, hey, the homies is gonna go off now. He's hey, about man. to step into the <laughs> studio right here. Yo, man, yeah, we, yo, we didn't organize this, you know, uh, you know, this orange and everything. But anyway, it's just, it's just when genuine vibes vibe. Hey, hey shout vibe. out, shout out, shout out, you shout out. Me. Yeah, man. So check out my homie Curfew six thirty. Uh, his latest EP is out right now. It's called Time, and, and I'm dropping. A new EP next month. Hey, next month. Well, probably, at dropping. the time that this comes out, it'll probably be out. Yeah. What's, when, it, what's it called? It's going to be, it's called Entree. Entree. Yeah, Yo, you know, it's expensive a, names, man. It's a, so I did consumers in high school. Okay. When I was in grade 11, 12. Yeah. Um, it's a hospitality term yeah. for the main course of a meal. Okay. Yeah, so on, oh, entree. Yeah. Entree, you know, yeah. that's that French, my man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. yeah. You know, entree, like, you know, yeah. like chefless switch, mm-hmm. my friend. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> if you guys check out my Instagram, sometimes, you know, I got some, you know, I got my cooking skills up there and you hear Mr. Chefless switch. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yes, All right. sir. Yo, man, sir, it's been an absolute pleasure hanging out with you, man. It's, you know, it's an I was honor. digging, when, when you hit me up, I was digging through the music and I was like, okay, you know, and I like the vibe, I like your sound and, just now listening to you like this, it's like, yo, my mans, make sure if you were here, you would, you would, you would have probably seen him. But, uh, you know, we're doing this thing called Shoot Your Shot. Mm. And you can shoot your shot on the 7th of May. Well, that's probably going to be out by then. But on the 7th of May, we had a, li- a live show with all our artists that have come onto the show. And they got to perform out here in Neutron Junction. How you get onto that is you've got to stay tuned to the Instagram page. Check out Put Me On Switch. And, uh, yo... You follow all the details there. You know, I'm out there. I'm doing my Sunday, you know, calls out there. You know, I'm doing my thing. So make sure you check it out. But yo, man. Charge every- it up. Charge it up like DJ Switch, man. Ay, switch it up. Switch ay, it up. You feel me? So we can yo. get you on all social media. Yeah. Um, IG Curfew 630. C-U-R-F-E-W 630. One word. But immediate, yeah. Um, WhatsApp number? No. Porn site? No. Only fan nah, site? Nah, nah, nah. WhatsApp you know? number? 078 <laughs> <laughs> All right, and also check out uh, Joseph Derry's hey, uh, Joseph podcast. Derry. Let me actually shout out all my niggas. Yeah, shout, shout out to out, Joseph out. Derry. Shout out to DNT TV. Shout out to my homie Uncle Spella. Shout out to my best friend, the best videographer, young videographer in the game, Lens Genius. Um, shout out to my producer Ginger. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, shout out, shout out to everybody who's chasing their dreams. And um, can I say something? Yeah, it's like. All the young kids, uh, just so you know, like, don't be scared to stand on your own for your dream, you know? Because, like, sometimes I feel like people only get it when you've made it. Like, yeah. Don't be scared to stand alone because it needs a lot of strength to like, earn it. Yourself. So, back that's right, that's why I give you some claps. And I'm back, no, it's your boy, the mixtape king. Coffee 6.30, my man, your money in the building, 190, and of course, DJ Switch, check it out, it's the switch up, baby, it is the switch up, man, what happened to rap, said, said, what happened to rap, hip-hop used to drop bars, and now it's just dead.